All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I am sorry for my absence the past week, two weeks, really the past long time. I haven't uh, been as on track on YouTube as I should be. So my apologies for that. I know this doesn't apply to everybody, but for those some people out there who I am letting down and disappointing by not posting videos, please accept my apology. There has just been some things going on uh, mentally and just in my life that's been preventing me from you know being how I want to be on YouTube I'm not gonna get into that in this video we have a full video to go but if you guys are interested in that I'm gonna try to get up a video tomorrow or the next day going into some details about why I haven't been uh, as consistent on YouTube as I want to be dude but I do want to thank everybody for their support if you're supporting on YouTube or supporting on Instagram Prime population or if I see you at Supreme or you shoot me a DM and uh, you're encouraging me to to make videos and showing love to anything that I do I want to thank you guys very much for that man if you guys are new here make sure you guys go check out Prem population it is the best aftermarket community on Instagram buying selling raffles even if you're not into any of that maybe you're new to supreme old maybe you're a collector we have an awesome community there full of a bunch of dope people we have live videos it's super popping every day of the week you can always go there and get supreme so if you haven't been there make sure you go check it out. Enough with the BS. Let's get into this video. I haven't done a video in a while, but I thought I should come back with the Fox video. I wanted to do the preview. Didn't get to it, but I just could not pass up the uh, pickup video, dude. We got a lot of good stuff. We got a lot of different colors. We got lookbook items, Fox items. So this video might be a little bit longer. So just hang in there. If you guys can make it to the end, we will show everything. I will get to everything and I'll, you know, go through my thoughts a little bit and how it was in store. Some of the production numbers that I saw and all of that kind of good stuff all right so I hope you guys are glad to see this video glad to see me back uh, I know that feels good to make a video I'm glad to be back so I hope this video does well and you guys enjoy it and let's get into it man we'll start with the hats and go from there these hats should not be slept on these are the denim hats right here this is the red one the least of my favorite of the colors but I wanted to include it my favorite part about these hats is the back strap usually with the s logos and some other camp hats they can dig into the back of your head leave a comment down below I know if you guys know what that feeling is it's the worst feeling ever oh my gosh I'm getting a headache just thinking about it dude but these have awesome straps on the back they feel really nice on your head this is the red one and then there was a dark denim right here if you guys know anything about supreme denim supreme always does well light denim dark denim with the red box it always holds and retains value and then over time goes up dude so here's the denim they've done this a couple different styles this year Definitely grabbed a handful of these and then my personal favorite one which is the train conductor hat the pinstripes This matches an S logo from a couple seasons back now They did it in a camp version with this nice strap on the back This was a mandatory cop for me stripes all the way through it such a sick hat dude So those were the hats that I grabbed and now we will get on to the lookbook clothes I'll speed through these real quick. This was a crew neck or a sweater that was not in the lookbook It was leaked maybe a week or two weeks before it dropped and then it dropped dropped last week. There's checker like panel across the front and across the back. This is a summer sweater for sure. It's very, very thin. It's labeled as a crew neck sweatshirt, but it is very, very thin, literally like a sweater. And then you got embroidery on your chest right here, a nice little accent right above the checkered. So you can clearly read it. That's always good. The red was nice. The forest green was nice. The white was nice. This was a very nice crew neck. It was cheap too. I think uh, 128 or 138. The last of the lookbook pieces was the Paisley stuff the bandana track jacket and the bandana pants. I ended up with a black jacket, which is kind of a bummer. I was going after the red jacket, but I ended up with black. No problems there. Uh, blessed to get any of it, really, dude. So you guys see the pull tab right here? It is a box logo. This matches the Madras track jacket from Spring Summer 17. Always dope when Supreme does a jacket with a pull tab that's just a box logo. And then you just have Paisley print all over it, dude. You have breast embroidery right here, which says Supreme. Uh, the blue and the the black I'm not the biggest fan of that's the only track jacket we got the one I was a fan of though is the red if I'm gonna keep one or get one for the personal the pants is it in red and we got them in a size small resale wise these are hidden like crazy definitely size small red did the best out of any of the uh, paisley or the bandana stuff and these are sick the only bummer is there's no embroidery or any branding on these anywhere on the back pocket there's no embroidery 
front pocket nowhere. They're just completely plain paisley print, but you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes it's that subtle uh, Supreme Flex that does it, and these are keepers for sure. Size small red paisley track pants. Dude, we got a blue pair of track pants as well, which are cool. Uh, just my personal taste is going for the red, but the black and blue uh, are all right as well. We grabbed some blue pants, and these are in size medium. So I wanted to speed through that lookbook stuff. I always like to include everything. I know there's people on here that watch the videos that aren't just all about the hype. Sometimes I've had people hit me up and be like, hey, thanks for showing that. You know, like that was a more slept on piece, yada, yada. So if you guys grabbed any of those lookbook pieces, now you know what they look like and uh, what to expect when you get them. Let's get into this Fox stuff and we will start with the accessories, dude. So first things first is the gloves. I have the multicolored pair, the red pair, and the black pair right here. The gloves was one thing in store that they had all day long. I didn't get a number, like I wasn't selected for a text, but they let me in the store at like six o'clock after all the numbers were done. And this was one of the items that was still in there. They had red and black, the multicolor was sold out, dude. So uh, these things are cool. They're not going very much over retail on Grailed or wherever. Here they are right here. They were 78 retail, which is a little pricey uh, in my opinion. They're selling for like 100, 110, whatever, whatever. You got lime green, blue, red, and then they had small, medium, large, and I'm not sure about extra large. So here's the multicolored ones right here. These things are pretty dope. And then uh, we got the red and black ones right here. The gloves are uh, multi-usage. How would you say it? Multifunctional. I feel like even if you don't ride dirt bikes, even if you don't ride motocross or whatever, you could still use the gloves for something. You know, they're branded. Maybe you live in the cold or in the winter time, you could throw them on when it's cold outside. Or I mean, I guess if you'd want to do your gardening in those or whatever, you could use those gloves for other purposes besides motocross or biking, you know? So the other accessory that dropped was the hand grips right here. Surprisingly, these sold out before the jerseys in store. So these things are pretty sick. Again, we got the yellow ones right here. We got the black ones right here and we got the red ones right here. I know with the jersey and the helmet, the multicolored and the goggles, the multicolor is way up there in price. I'm not sure if that's just right now or if that will continue to be. I feel like in the long run, the red uh, will outlive everything. Just the classic red and white Supreme. Uh, these things are a little hard to use if you don't ride a bike or use a bike. You could just post it up on your desk and use it, uh, you know, as decoration. Take them out of the package, use it as decoration. Um, but any accessory collector is going to want to grab these for sure. These were $48. These have a nice flip double retail going on anywhere from $80 to $100 depending on the color. This was the cheapest item that they dropped in the Fox collaboration and uh, a cool one for the books for sure, dude. So the whole thing with Fox and me is that uh, I grew up as a skateboarder, dude. So when I was growing up as a skateboarder, Fox was like kind of like on the other side of things. I didn't really wear Fox or care about Fox because I rode a skateboard and I was wearing Volcom and Spitfire and Antihero and Thrasher and more of the crowd of like the bros when I was growing up, you know, dudes with like a fat DVS shoes and then like pressed dickies, tan dickies and then white or black plain tees that drove big trucks and like, you know, uh, those were the kind of dudes that were wearing Fox and then people that like, you know, rode motocross. But that was 10, 12 years ago. So I feel like the gap between, I honestly forgot that Fox even existed. So for them to come out and do this, it's like far enough in my past that I could appreciate it and like it and keep the items and think they're cool rather than be like, oh my gosh, that's whack. Like if they did this, you know, 10 years ago and I was into it, I probably would have flushed all this stuff down the toilet. But all right, that was the gloves and the handlebars. And now let's get into some of this bigger stuff, dude. So here is the jerseys right here. All of them are in the plastic like they came from Supreme. Uh, I will take one of them out and show them to you guys. So the jerseys was one of the things that was there all day in black. The red and the multicolored jersey sold out earlier in the day. The black jersey was there when I went in at six o'clock. So I'll take this one out of the package, which is the red one. And then we got the black one right here. You guys know what it looks like. You know, you can see the pictures online. Uh, it's a nice little compact package right here. And then you got the multicolored one right here. So I don't want to unwrap the multicolored one because I believe I'm going to keep this one. I would like to keep it as dead stock as I possibly can right now, but I will show you guys the red one right here. So let me rip this open and then uh, we will get into it right now. All right. So here she blows right here. Hopefully I can fold this up and get it back in the package the way that it came. There's paper all over 
this thing paper all inside this thing and man this thing is super clean lightweight for sure definitely not a heavy jersey uh, I would imagine if you're using this in a race or riding you want it to be as light as possible and this thing is branded up the butt dude so you got a purple Fox logo right here on the front then you got a red and silver Supreme this looks like it's 3m or reflective I'm not sure if it is but then you got Supreme everywhere dude you got Supreme going down the sleeves on both arms of this thing and then bam on the back you have Supreme on like your rib cage area or your side area right there on both sides dude there is one two three four five huge Supreme logos all across this the color blocking on the red and the multicolored one is absolutely beautiful and man dude this thing is sick size large see that's why I can't open things up and get into them personally because then I'm just like yo this is way too fire I can't let this go I need this for the personal this for the personal and man this is definitely a fire fire jersey dude so I hope you guys are cool with me showing you guys the red one I obviously can't keep every single jersey so the ones I do end up selling I would like to be in the package and as dead stock originally dead stock as possible but man that jersey is absolutely fire dude so let's get into these pants right here uh, I got multicolored pants which are right here and then I got red pants as well so again I think I'm going for a multicolor set to put aside right now so I will leave those in the package and then uh, I will open up these uh, red pants for you guys right here the pants are sick uh, you guys know or if you don't know I am a pants dude I love pants any kind of like way out different weird pants uh, I'm going for for sure not sure if I'm gonna keep all these but man these are fire these are definitely some moto pants and these things are crazy dude so you got like a little velcro thing right here and then you got like some ribbing on the inside a little bit of elastic where that you guys can see right here and you got Fox logo on the back and then Supreme going all the way down uh, the back leg now this is like a raised rubber right here so it's not printed like the jersey it is straight up raised like sewn on rubber on the back both sides man that is fire on the front you got supreme printed right here and then you got perforated holes all the way through it I'm assuming so your legs can breathe while you're racing and then you got the purple Fox logos that are printed right here and these things are fire for sure man dang these things are fire I'd love to take out uh, the multicolored ones I'm gonna leave them in the plastic as much as I want to take them out but dang, those things are fire. So that was the jersey and the pants. Man, that's the first time that I took those out of the package and I saw them. So I'm trying to take it in uh, as I'm going along here and, and trying to keep pushing on with the video. Here's this little cat. She won't stop messing with any of the stuff that I put down. This is Blue. Everybody say what's up to Blue. We found her underneath a freeway like six days ago and we rescued her. She had fleas and she was dirty and we took her home, took her to the vet, got her all cleaned up. And this is the newest addition to the preem population family. So blue, be good. Don't eat my packaging. And uh, let's keep it going, dude. So we got three more things to look at, which is the goggles, the chest plate, and the helmet. So if you guys are with me, we're at 15 minutes. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to push through it right now, dude. So here is the goggles. This is what the box looked like that they gave you in store. Box logo on the top, Fox logo, and box logos on each side. And then here is the bottom. I love getting stuff in the store because you get these store tags on it. And these things are beautiful. Online is great, but you just don't get those store tags from online orders, dude. So this top pops off like this, and then this is the presentation right here. So these are the black ones, and I will pull these out for you guys like this. These pop out, the sides pop out, and then here is the goggles right here. I'm not sure people have asked me, can you use these for snowboarding? I have no idea. I don't snowboard. I don't ride motocross, so I'm not sure the qualifications of what the goggles would need to be, but these things are sick, dude. Fox logo on the back, printed Supreme on both sides of the goggles. And then you got Fox logos on the corner of the goggles right here This is the classic black on the inside You got like a little elastic part on it and then they come with a dust bag as well, dude So here's the dust bag, you know, you get rid of the box You put the goggles in here pull them tight and then uh, you can pull them out and uh, get to them way more easy Than getting them in this box, dude So those were the black ones and I'll show you guys the red ones right here red was my personal favorite Duva liked the multicolored ones my favorite ones were the the red ones right here dude so same thing pull them out they got the same dust bag on them and these things are just sick dude you got like this white lining on both sides of the goggles and then you got the fox logo on the front and these things 
are sick, dude. Adjustable strap. If you got a small head, big head, medium head, these things will fit for sure. These things retailed at uh, $148. They're going anywhere from $250 to over $300 uh, for certain colors, dude. The goggles will one size, and uh, man, those things are hitters, dude. They have some Smith goggles that they dropped some years ago. Dead stock, I think those are six, seven hundred dollars. So I'm sure that over time, these goggles will go up too, dude. I think anywhere at $250. I mean, I bought a bunch of them. I'm putting them to the side at least a set a color set of goggles for times years from now and uh, I'm gonna enjoy those later on for sure dude so let's get into this chest plate and uh, we'll uh, see what it looks like dude so I'm kind of bummed about the chest plate I really wanted red dude my homie went in in the beginning of the day he had a huge list uh, you know not the most familiar with Supreme he ended up with a black chest plate shout out to Joey Franco not your fault homie but I was really really hoping for the red dude I wanted the red for my personal I wanted to rock it I wanted to put it on and have it and enjoy it ended up with the black but I'm, I'm in the middle of doing a trade right now, dude. So this thing is crazy. Uh, it's kind of like a over the head thing. You put it on and then you strap it up. You got a box logo that's printed across the front or just a giant Supreme logo. And then uh, you have Supreme across the back as well. I didn't watch the video, but somebody told me that they watched Ari Petru and Kaisa's video. And in the, in, in the picture of all three of the chest plates, they were just like, yeah, the black one's whack. Like, there's just a small box logo on the front of the black one, but all the other ones have huge box logos. I was laughing so hard, they didn't know that it was like just the picture of the back of it. Anyway, that shit's hilarious, but you got some repeat printed Supreme on the inside uh, paneling, and this is just a hard plastic chest plate. If you're riding a motorcycle, you fall and eat shit, this is going to protect your inside organs and make sure that you can live another day dude so such a dope piece there's like this little plastic piece attached to it which I'm not sure what that is for if anybody knows let me know man I wish I would have got the red one the black one's gonna have to do for now but definitely one of my favorite pieces that dropped now we will get into the helmets I know we're at 20 minutes right now if you guys have made it this far thank you guys very much we're gonna go through these helmets and then we will be done all right so this is the box this is what it looks like dude in store this is what they handed you it's got some branding on it some supreme branding some big box logos and this is my favorite part of the box right here which is the description or the branding or you know the information on the box you have a box logo you have the store tag right here $298 was retail it has the size and then it has a picture of the helmet this is a size medium so you pull these out right here you pull this up and this is what it looks like dude so first you pull it out and it's got a fat case on it dude this has a dust bag as well just like the goggles and this is what it looks like you got a printed box logo and then you have the fox logo on the other side of the dust bag you pull this thing open it's like a little drawstring action pull the top off and then this is where we get down to business dude you got this little plastic cover on it shout out to this cover keeping my helmet safe so here is the multicolored helmet, dude. Now, my favorite one is the red one, but I cannot lie, this multicolored one is badass. I want the red one for collection purposes. For years down the road, I want red everything. Right now, this multicolored one is taking it for me, dude. I love how they kept the red and white box logo on it, and then everything else is different colors. You got blue, you got green, you got white, you got red, you got gray. So many different aspects to it. This thing is crazy, dude. So you got some ventilation up here, two printed Supremes on both sides of this. You got your little mouthpiece right here so you can breathe. And then here is, is all the way across the top onto the back is where you get the huge Supreme branding. And this thing is just absolutely fire, dude. You got your little strap down here. Really, really just a beautiful, beautiful piece, dude. Everybody's like, the helmet's sick, the helmet's sick. But it's just like, until you get this thing in your hands and see it and put your hands on it and look at it with your own eyes in person this thing is the sickest part of the collaboration by far the goggles are fire yes it's gonna be history the jersey shout out to the whole collaboration but nothing does it like having this box and the presentation 
and the dust bag and the helmet in hand, it is a special, special feeling for sure. I am more than lucky and more than blessed to be able to have two of these helmets right now. I'm looking for a third one. And man, dude, there is just nothing better than this thing, dude. So shout out to the multicolored one, size medium. And then here is the black one right here. It comes with the same box, the same branding, whoop de whoop yada yada. So don't sleep on the black one. The black one is sick. I think everybody's tripping on other colors right now, like the multicolor and the red but this will definitely be a staple color in years to come and you know in seasons to come the black will definitely hold up black and white some people don't like colors they like simplicity they like black they like white this is for you guys right here dude the supreme is in white and then you got the black strip it's kind of like glossy and matte you got gloss right here you got matte right here you got gloss all right here matte right here and this thing is crazy both of these are size medium and I'm looking for a red in either size small or medium. If any of you guys have a red helmet, any size, but especially small or medium, please go to Preem Population and DM me. I'm down to work out a trade. I'm down to pay cash, whatever it is, and uh, we can figure it out, dude. So that is it. We went through everything. I have a huge mess right here. I got to clean all this up. My little cat is eating all this paper and it's just a disaster, dude. If you guys made it to the end, thank you guys very much. Much appreciation to all of you guys, man. All the homies that show and love, liking the video, subscribing, leaving a comment. Thank you guys very much. Let me know what your favorite color is, what your favorite piece was, anything to do with the collaboration. I would love to hear your guys' opinions and uh, see how you guys liked it, what you guys got, what you didn't get, what you want to get. And I will try to comment back as many of you guys as I can, dude. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry for the absence. Like I said, I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow or the next day explaining a little bit more into that. So the people who really do care and uh, want to know what's been going on, you guys can get those answers. All right. Prem population for the win. Make sure you guys go check it out. All the homies that support and uh, allow me to do what I do each and every day. Thank you guys very much. Sleepy, much appreciation. I'm out of here. Thank you guys. Fox, week 12. It's a wrap. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Deuces.